show you just how easy it is to paint a simple gift for your friend on a clear glass ball. And as you can see, you can get a little more elaborate with it or you can get very simple with it. This is just a pattern off of a china. This is a zebra or just firemen or a painting. The first one is a painting that my grandmother did. And so I'm doing, the w doing another one for the rest of my family members since I got the painting. So today we'll start with a clear glass ball that you can get at any craft store. And you want to start by making sure your ball is clean. You can wipe it off and making sure there's no dust on it. So when you start with a clear glass ball, and I just rest my ball in, this is a yogurt top I got off of some yogurt, and I just rest it in there, and that way I can turn it very simply. Or a ribbon, I got this off of ribbon, and you can put it on here. You can really use anything. This is gauze. You can just put it up there. But for me, this just moves easily, so it's easy. And you want to use um, and a brush. I use a, either a nylon brush. You don't need a real expensive brush when you're starting out. Um, because I can, And I keep all of my brushes, even when I mess them up. So just start first with a clear ball, clean ball, and dap your brush into some water. And the paints I use are enamel paints. You can get them anywhere, uh, Liquitex, or um, some people use, in, use um, acrylic, but I like enamel. I find it glides on better, stays on. And you can get your inspiration from anywhere. Today, I'm, I'm getting my inspiration from a Christmas card one of my dear friends sent to me, and I know it's her favorite card because she told me. So today, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to do it for the first time with you. So get all of your paints together and we'll start so you can hold your ball up or if you find it's easier to put it down that's that's fine you can move it around and just start and a lot of times people ask me how how to get a straight line and you can see it's much easier on a clear ball you can see from front to back so we'll start on the front and just quickly start and it's like building anything you might have to go over the the snow again and this one we're just going to do clear and we're not going to do the background and you might want to start on the bottom and you want to sign your ball so leave some room at the bottom so let's see so we're going to build it let's just start in the front and I don't know how much snow you want or if you want some ice on there just it's just up to you what you want to do Okay, that's a good start. And you can start using, sometimes I like to see a little green. I like to see a little green on my trees, or I can just do it white. It just depends on how much snow you like, where you're from. So let's just start a little bit today with, um, and I can just mix right on these tops of these tubs here. And start with, let's just try one half of the ball with the green on the background and the other with the white. So we'll just start with Christmas trees and you can just do simple strokes. You want to just cover as quickly as you can. It's just very simple. And you can use any brush really on this, any of the ones you've messed up, because you want to sh you, you just want a little bit of, of the green to show through and then you're going to white all this out. And it's just what kind of trees will you like fat or skinny? But I pretty much just dab it on and everybody loves a personal gift so it everybody seems to love it and they don't re-gift your your gift if you make it for them so and it doesn't have to be just Christmas you can have it out on the shelf any time of the year and I use that glass dome and put um, little house balls in or that way I can keep it out all the time and change it from winter to summer okay let's see you might want to do some trees down front just to give it a little more balance so I'm going to do just the front first and the back side we'll just use we'll just use the snow on the trees and not put the background with green see which one you like the best and any ball you use if you mess if you think you're messing it up you can always cover it and use it again so you don't waste them 
and they're they're pretty t inexpensive. You can get them at any craft store, but they're usually come four to six to a package, and um, it's under it's probably about four dollars now. So okay. Now we'll just kind of let that dry on that side, and we'll go ahead and do the other side. But we'll have to be a little more careful since it's wet. We won't put it down. Just start on this side and just clean your brush and wipe it off. It's real simple and quick. And I'll go ahead so, so I can see through and fix this side. And you can always layer it. If it's not enough snow, or when you finish, if it's not enough snow, then you can put some more on. Okay. Well, on this side, I'm going to start back here. Maybe start up a little higher up so that from the front to back you can see different levels of these trees because they're everywhere. All right. So this one's a lot of people like more snow on their tree. And you don't really, sometimes you don't need anything showing through. But it's easier to put your snowman in front if it's not just using just one color. If you have a little more green on it. So, see, it just goes very quickly. Or you can certainly be more elaborate with it. And then you can come over here and do some little trees over here. So then less than 15 minutes, you can have a very personal gift. Okay, on this side, and since it dries so quickly, I'm going to come over here and go back over the trees that I did in green and go back through and start just putting some snow on there. And just use your brush to make the strokes for you. And see which one you like the best. The green. Very quickly, just put the other on. Just give you an idea of what you can do. And I'll have one gift done, finished for my friend. And let's see, I put some snowmen on. So a little more snow. I'm going to build this up just a little bit more. Put maybe a lone tree out here. Go back and do these green ones. And it doesn't have to be exactly like your picture. You can just start, I find by just doing, sometimes you learn more than any other way. So you can just put on the green trees and then just put some snow in there and it'll show through to the back and then you can see which one you like the most whether you like just the snow or just the green tree with the snow on the green trees and then let's let's go ahead and start putting a snowman on the front and we want to hold this up so that you can see where on this ball you want to put the snow and you can use any size ball. Most craft stores have three or four different kinds. They have the small or the medium or the large ball here. And it just depends on uh, what your friend likes on their tree. Just go ahead and put this all the way around. Very easy to do. Okay, and let's put some snowmen down front. Since they're in front of these trees, let's it, they show up better if there's a little green on it, if you're using white on white. If you want to put a little gray or blue on your snowman, just put some 
right in front here. I might want to put a little bit of uh, color in here just so they'll show up better. Just using a little bit of darker color. It doesn't matter whether it's blue or black and not too much though. Give you some shadows for your snowman. And you can layer this. So you can start with doing your snowman with darker and then you can make him lighter so your shadows can just like you would do any picture or painting. Um, and if you don't like it, say, okay, that looks a little too small, then you can go right over it and make a bigger snowman. And uh, you might want to give a little more time in between to for it to dry, but I'm just going to show you how quick this is to do. And it, everything dries pretty quickly. Okay, there's a snowman. And let's do another one right here. And since this isn't dry, we'll just blend it in. And we'll go back when, this, when it is dry and put white over top of the snowman. We're making this one pretty small. But you can make it as large as you want. Or put as many on there as you want. Some people like snowmen all the way around. So we'll just put a few little ones on there. This has the babies. We won't do those today. We'll just put them, since they're, her babies are grown, put a bigger baby on here. Now, if you want to um, let this dry, we'll put him a hat on. Put Papa a hat on there. And then we'll let it dry. And pretty much we've gotten everything we want to do on there, basically, and we'll build it up a little more. See, when you finish, when you're looking at your ball, if you find that the background doesn't show up enough with your snowman, you need to go and make your snowman, after it dries, a little lighter. Go back over it because it won't hurt anything for you to go back over it in light. Or you can go back and make the background a little more solid behind your snowman. And just fill in again. And just keep working, keep layering like you would a painting or anything. That way they show up a little bit better. Just fill in a little more. Give you an idea of how. And if you get some of the white into the green, it's okay. And go back and dry it. And if you decide your other side that you don't like it with just the white, you can go back and fill it in with the green. Just put a little bit of green in there. And then your whole ball will be the same. I just wanted you to get an idea of what you could do. And when you finish, just sign your name at the bottom. It's very You can put a wreath down there or just take a different color and sign your name. And I like to date it with a year, 2010, and now you can finish it up and you'll have a gift in less than a half an hour for your friend, a very inexpensive way for her to enjoy her Christmas. Um, you might want to dry it on something else. You can dry it one side this way and then one side the other way. Or you can use a blower. And next time, we'll work on something more detail. I'll show you how to do a background color and get a little more detail in your ball. And you can find me on Etsy.com under the storefront of Perfect Perfection. Thank you.